Hello everyone, I'm Joanne and welcome to my craft room. So let's continue on with this wonderful floral friendship uh, collection from Spellbinders. I love this card. I absolutely love this um, style, this little like trellis. And I thought that these flowers looked beautiful on it. Look at this gorgeous die cut I use here. It's so big. I absolutely love the way that it fills up the top of the card. And of course, these gemstones, I just love them. The whole collection, look at this butterfly. So I wanted to go ahead and um, and then, you know, you can use this uh card base for many cards okay I'm also going to show you how to line everything up here look what I did with the inside I used my part of my ephemera pack sending health and happiness thinking of you sending health and happiness you can write your little sentiment your little note up here so I thought that was cute okay let's move this aside oh I have to show you something <laughs> my die cuts wow I have gone insane there is like a lot less die cuts in here but I had to put them on a tray so I did this and then I put the sentiments on this little tray right here to pick from so that's a good way to just spread things out but have them contained at the same time now you're wondering what this is over here well this was a boo-boo that I did on a card but I didn't want to waste this beautiful paper so I took and I cut off my boo-boo and I just um, did like part of a circle so when it's time I will make a card and then these will be on the edges so I think that that will be a lot of fun but I just wanted to show you my trays and I thought that that was a good um, idea uh, to use them okay now we need the trimmer so let me get my little die cuts over here we have our card base here is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half and what we're going to do is open this up and we're going to cut off seven half inch strips seven half inch strips that's what we're going to cut okay there we go seven half inch strips one Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, all right. Now, so now we have that upper flap, which is where we're going to put our beautiful die cut, and we are ready to go here. All right, now, watch the way that I do this, okay? It takes just a, just a, a hot minute, okay, just to get this right. We're going to fold this down, and I'm going to put this here on my paper, okay? That's the best ever craft tape. And then I have a long piece of the best ever craft tape, okay? So I have that on the base, holding it down onto my glass mat or wherever that you work on, okay? I'm going to put this with the sticky side up. I want to put it in the middle of this, about in the middle, okay, of our flap. I'm going to pull it down, and as you see, I have more tape down here, okay? I'm going to take another piece of tape, come out here, there we go, and I'm going to tape it down. So I've taped the tape down. I'm stuck to it, okay. So I'm taking and taping the tape down to the glass mat. And I also have the card base down. All right, now, now we're going to go ahead and now nothing's going to move. And you're going to see this is really going to help us position these um, pieces, okay? So I like to make sure that they're lined up on one side and I leave a little space and I just tap it just a little bit down. And you want to have two extra, okay? You want to have two extra. Now's a good time to get them straight, take a look at them. So I put two at the top, and then I come down here and I do one at the bottom. I did this also with the hummingbirds, B.B. Cameron's hummingbirds. And now I'm going to come one up from there. I did a trellis card. I think my spacing's pretty decent. That might be a little thick right there. Looks pretty decent. 
okay now leave two okay because we have to make the two down this is this is so simple to do it looks complicated but it's not okay now is the time that if you need to straighten things out move them around whatever go ahead and do it and then just kind of make sure that everything is down and stuck to this tape right here let me look through my camera it looks pretty straight to me it looks pretty good okay now let me take my Gina K connect glue and I'm just going to come in a little bit here because what we're going to do let me show you what we're going to do first we're going to place this right here and here okay and we want that to come up it's like a fence right or a trellis uh, you know decorative maybe with flowers on it like we're going to put so I'm just going to come in uh, about a quarter of an inch just going to put a dot of glue and I'm just going to follow it down through here and seriously this is all we need okay now I like to start at the bottom and I like to hold it to where it's flush and then I just let it come up to the top and just sit just like that that's easy peasy easy peasy right okay now let's get the side come in here and then just a dot in the middle of each of the pieces of paper that you your little strips line it up at the bottom it got so warm here today we broke a record here we broke a record it was like 83 degrees or some crazy temperature Ooh, did I? okay that was just a little glue so I have short sleeves on it feels good Whoop. okay now with the liquid glue is what I love that I can move it around see I want about the same spacing on either end try to get it as straight as you can there we go okay now just letting that adhere really well I'm going to take this off and I'm gonna flip this up I'm gonna pick this up here and I'm gonna flip it up okay and I'm gonna take my tape off very gingerly and honestly if your tape has been used a little bit it's a lot easier okay because you really don't want it to stick too much and it can I have noticed it can move my strips and I think it did that one just a little bit let's go ahead and look at it like this hang on just a second let me just look I think I'm looking pretty good there pretty good I like it okay all right, there we go. So now we have the base of our card. That's fun. Let's go ahead and decorate our envelope really quick because it's just with some die cuts. I'm going to use this little button flower right here with the little gold in the center. And I'm going to put this on our flap. There. And then... I'm going to take this flower, this larger blue one, and put it here on the outside. And believe you me, guys, you've got so many die cuts. Just have fun with them. Decorate everything. I mean, you see how many I have left, and I've made, let's see, two, four, six, eight. This is my, this is ten cards. And then I'll get another one done on this video also. Okay, so now we have our card base and we have our envelope completed. Now behind this, I'd like to put um, some paper because this is light, okay? And then, honest to goodness, to glue things on these little rungs, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, you have to kind of line it up and this, that, and the other thing. I was like, how can I get around that? So, <laughs> so um, what we have here... Okay, let me give you the measurements for the what I did for the inside. So I cut the vellum because I wanted to soften what, what it looked like behind um, this little trellis. So this is kind of like a bluish-greenish cardstock. Uh, use any color that you'd like. 
and uh, so this is cut at three and a half by four and I and so is the vellum so just like that okay we're gonna put this together I'm just gonna use um, glue dots or you could use some inline glue <laughs> or you can use some inline glue or double-sided tape even little pieces of it just put it up here in the corners This is another. I like glue dots also. So I like foam, liquid glue, inline glue, and glue dots. Four things. Oh, wait, and um, <laughs> and double-sided adhesive. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this here. Okay. Just like that, okay? Now, the thing about vellum is see how you can see the glue through there, right? You can see that. But when we go ahead and put this on here, you're not going to, of course, see it at all. See? And then what that gives me is a solid surface to be able to stick everything to. All right. Four more glue dots in the corners, or like I said, whatever the adhesive that you're using. I would not use liquid adhesive with this, with this part. Okay, now, I like to just kind of put it on here and just kind of center it then take a peek this side looks good right great keep it straight at the bottom try to best we can right okay because I'm going to show you how to line up the other piece okay so now here we go that's down very very well just like that and now the inside is a piece of the cardstock, your colored cardstock, whatever color that you're using, three and a half by four, and then a piece of white, three and a quarter by three and three fourths. So it's just a quarter of an inch smaller, so that we get this effect right here, where um, it's just layered, real pretty like that, right? And then, uh, like I said, they could write a sentiment up there, you know, ha hi, so-and-so, hope you just thinking about you, hope you have a wonderful day, or, you know, whatever. All right, let's go ahead and glue this together. Just like this. I like to use uh, my... Um, my layers. I like to always cut them down about a quarter of an inch. That's usually what I do. Sometimes I do an eighth of an inch, but I would say 95% of the time I do a quarter of an inch. Okay, now let's go ahead and stick this part of the ephemera pack on here. Sending health and happiness. Isn't that beautiful? And I keep showing you guys all that gold. I love that. I've really had an absolute blast with this collection. I hope you've enjoyed my videos this week. We've been having a lot of fun. There we go, just like that. Now, we don't want this to look weird inside the card, okay? We want it to line up with the back of that because we don't want it to show and it would just look better if it's together like that. So, we take this, open your card, Take this. Now make sure this is a really easy way to get this upside down. Okay? So it's going to go like this. And we're actually going to fold the back flap onto it. Okay? So we're going to go like that. All right? So we're going to go ahead and put glue on the back right here of it. That Just this one piece. Okay? Where I'm going to line it up with the piece underneath, just like that. We are in good shape. I'm looking at it. Yep, that looks really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and close my back flap. And it'll pick it up. Isn't that fantastic? 
what. Now, it's in a perfect position just like that. I will scooch that just a little bit. It looks like it scooted just a teeny, teeny bit. That looked a little crooked to me. Okay, there we go. So now it is absolutely just like that panel. Perfect. Okay, now let's go ahead and put our die cuts. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to go ahead and put some strips on here. And um, let's see, I think I have some thicker ones here on this big piece. And I'll put a little piece right there. And I'm going to pop a lot of this up. Make it look really great on our card. That trellis is pretty. And you can do, once you start making a trellis, you're going to make a lot of them and use a lot of sets. Because it's just really a cool way to make the card base. It's not hard. Okay, right here, right in the center. Watch these die cuts and watch the front of this card come alive. Now, where we put the back on there, I don't have to worry where anything lands, okay? I don't have to worry about a thing. Let's go ahead and put the thinking of you. I'll just use a little strip right here. I just kind of eyeball it. And I'll just pop that up right there. And I'm going to put this right over here. Just like that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and add some flowers. And these are the flowers that I picked out and I wanted to add some gold leaves. So this little guy right here will get um, some foam. Actually everything gets foam. So we'll just go ahead and put this right here. Not blocking out any of my um, the sentiment right here. Now you know what? I really want to go ahead and attach this butterfly. I have a smaller blue one so I'm going to use this one because I just want to make sure that my flowers are in the right place. So I just pinch its little wings up just like that. This is sticky. So cool, right? Is that one? That one. Do you see that? That's cut right there. I think we're okay though. I don't know though. Hmm. Let me use this other one. That one is, pro that was just probably off a little bit on the machine. I just saw that. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to this one. Doesn't matter. Just put whichever one you want on there. This will be pretty too. I'm going to put, and, and it's as big as that other one. So I'm just going to put that just like that. So let me just show you what I saw when I picked the wing up. I'm sure that it just got cut off in a machine. You know, you have to remember that um, what I receive um, is a little different than what you're going to receive because these are samples. So, and that's how that they, you know, they're, um, that's how they send them to me. Everything is packaged differently. Uh, so I really think it's cool the way, you know, that then it comes into, uh, being what it is on the shelf for you guys, you know, or in the store, in the online store for you guys. So I'm just putting this one here. I want to pull in the little bit of brown that's in here, right there, and then it also pulls in the gold. And this one has blue in it too, so that's pretty. Now let's go ahead and put these leaves on. They're so squiggly. I thought that they were really cool. Just some little pieces I'm going to put. I think that'll be good. And, you know, just using these die cuts. Wow. I'm just saying. Fast, easy, fun. And the cards look fantastic. So I'm just going to kind of slip these underneath so that the little leaf is coming out from behind the flowers. Boy, I hope they ask me to do more with die cuts because this is 
given me a lot of fun. How funny. Something new, right? New for me. You know, you guys might have been doing this for a long time. A lot of you might have. I don't know which is up and which is down with these leaves, and I don't even know if it matters. I'm just going to stick that one, let it kind of come in there. Let those guys be together. And then put this little one right here. Whoop! So here we go. I'm going to stick that right there and put this one right in here. Yeah, I think I like it where it kind of squiggles out and the tip of the white, you know, and then the leaf kind of squiggles out from there. Isn't that pretty? It got dark out, so, <laughs> and I'm filming. Isn't, hey, we're done. Well, wait, we got to put some gems on here, right? Let's do those. And I chose the big blue ones. They're so pretty. So pretty, pretty. Wow, I've only got um, one butterfly left. Unless I figure out a way to... See, this one right here, what I could do is... And what I will do is stick a flower on it. It'll be good. I'll make it look like the wing... Like the flowers over top of the wing. We're going to put these pretty pretties on here. I'm going to use these mediums. I'm going to use a medium here, and then I'll use a small up here, just out there. Oh, my goodness. Here we go again. Another beautiful start to a video with these gorgeous cards. Look at how pretty. Oh, my goodness. You know whoever gets this card is going to love it. There it is, and they stand up so nice. Has a little 3D going on there with the with that nice little butterfly. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'll be back in just a little bit with the last card. Okay, let's make this fun card. Oh my goodness, I love this pattern paper. Isn't that fun? And then I even used it on the inside as background. So this one is, today is a great day. And you are amazing. I had to use that and. I love that and. May you bloom and grow. Now, I thought like this would be great if somebody graduated high school or something like that or even college. And then, you know, you could give them a card, maybe a little something in it if you could. Something like that. All right. Now, let's go ahead. Here's the inside of our card. Here's the outside. Here's the envelope. For the envelope, I just um, I just cut one inch strips of what was left over. So let's go ahead and decorate our envelope while we're at it. I'm just going to go here at the bottom. This paper also has like a um, subtle background stamped into it and I really love that. I always tap tap if I want to try to get something on the bottom there. Oh, went over with my glue a little bit, but that's okay. I just cleaned these scissors with alcohol. So we'll get them glue we'll get them sticky again, right? It happens, right? We are in the craft room. So this time when I put the frame down, I'm going to just glue it to the front of the card instead of popping it up with any kind of um, dimension. But other things will have dimension. This is very simple, but I'm making it difficult. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just look on the other side. Make sure that you have it, you know, at the edge there. Good. And then I'll trim up both these sides. And that is a wonderful way to use your patterned paper. And because you I know all of us have way too much of it. But this is a great way to use your strips. And it just makes your envelope match with your card so well, right? I think I could trim that back a little bit more on that side. So what I'm trying to do is like. Um, do two things at once. The cards that I make here will then go into the shop here in town. Um, 
Now the pattern paper is a five and a quarter by four and the piece of white cardstock is four and three quarter by three and a half. I went in um, a little bit more just to give me a little bit of the pattern paper around the outside. So I just skipped the size of five by three and three quarter and went down to the four and three quarter by three and a half for the white. Yeah, so I thought that as I did these, as long as they came out really well, you know, enough, well enough to sell, um, that that's what I would be doing is just kind of two things at once, right? There we go. Now I'll go ahead and put our inside sentiment. Like I say, I think that this would be a fantastic card for any type of a graduation. I thought too that at the little place I would have a um, a sign that said um, these are all handmade, they're not Hallmark. <laughs> I thought I would do that. Because I mean, you know, it is a little different when things are handmade, right? When, if they, you know, come out of a machine. So let's go ahead and put our leaves here. I'm going to put a green leaf and a gold leaf. And I've just really, I've just seriously had fun just picking things out of the ephemera pack. And, um, you know, well, now I have it all on a tray. I'll probably keep it there and make some more cards. And I'll stick that one in there. So it looks cute, right? Just like that. So we'll just glue this on the inside. And now we have... The inside and the envelope completed. We're about to put on the outside of the card, and that is um, five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to use it as a full card front. Here we go, right there. Wonderful. And now we'll put this on. And right here on the front. Oh, I love where it's stamped. I just love that. See? Where, and, and then it's like stamped over here too. That's too cool. <clears throat> Let's get it on there straight now. Pick it up so no white is showing. And then place it down. Good. There we go. Oh, that could be a whole lot better. Really, that's awful. Okay, that's my bad. Whew, lucky I could pick that up, right? Oh, save, save. Because I don't have another piece of this pattern paper. I've used all of it. I am amazed at all of the paper I have totally used it, uh, making these cards. I have to show it to you. At the end, I'm going to show you everything. At the end, I will show you all the cards. There we go. Okay. And, oh my goodness, they're, going, they're just so pretty. Now, this has adhesive on the back, okay? So, but really and truly to be extra, extra good about locking stuff down here, you know. I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue on here too. I've seen other demonstrators do that and I think it's a good idea. And I'm just going to put this right here in the center of our card. Now I love this little bluebird. I was looking at, wow, how could I use this bluebird? Isn't that pretty? So we're just going to go around placing our die cuts and putting foam because see this, I don't want it to rest on that frame on foam okay so I'm just going to lift it up and put just a little bit of liquid glue there even though that frame's not popped up it still has a little dimension to it so if I pop it up you know then I'm going to have like something that's a little lopsided right there okay now let's go ahead and place our and right here 
Okay, so I'm going to put a dimensional or a foam down there in the corner. And I'm just going to put that right there. Put our and. I love that. And you are amazing. Kind of wanted to stagger these guys a little bit. And I think I can here. And then amazing. And everything is already foiled for you with these die cuts. I hope you've enjoyed my series. And look for more. Um, this will be ongoing. Okay. The more they send, the more I do. There we go. This one was uh, it's straight to get. I could have moved that over. I should have. But um, so we corrected on this one, right? There we go. Huh. Just a few little things to put on here. Let's go ahead um, with this little like blue leafy and it's going to go just behind here and just kind of pop up there. So I'm just going to place that there. Remember don't come off the top of or the sides of your card so that it fits in your um, envelope. And then this one is going to come down through the frame just like that. So pretty. And, you know, you design your cards however that you'd like. These are just um, things that I've come up with. Now, am I missing a flower? I'm missing a flower. Okay, let's put this green leaf behind the blue. Let's see if I thought I could have sworn I pulled both those flowers out. Okay. And now this one, I just have a little piece of foam on one side where the today is because this has already popped up. Okay, so I just want to place a little bit of liquid glue there because I'm going to bring this right across that little blue, like leafy thing. And let me see about my flower here. I could have sworn I had it out. Okay, let me look for my flower. I'll be right back. Okay, I found it. It was in my little tray. So let's go ahead and pop that up. And I'll make sure that it goes in here. And isn't that pretty? I love all of the um, hues of color that they have on one die cut. I was looking at them the other night. I was like, wow. And look how wonderful right when I had that flower that it pulls like almost everything together because it's that little bit of pink. Here is the car this card in this video. I'm sure I will be making more. Let's put some dots on here. I love these pink ones. I want this large one up here. I just love that. And then I'm going to put a little one in here and I could put it right on that kind of that center of that flower. That looks pretty cool, right? <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen, but it just did. And um, then I'll put a medium. Did I get the tape? Yeah, okay. Right here. I love this. Oh my goodness, look at these gems. And honest to goodness, guys, this is not an expensive collection. Like I said, you could get everything. I believe I totaled it up. It was under $40. Look at how pretty that is. Let's do a little recap really quick. Oh my goodness. So, here are the die cuts that I have left, okay? As you see, I these right here, I really went through a ton of these. And I plan on doing something with this right here. I love this um, uh, pattern right there with the flowers and the green background. So, look for more cards to be coming. And um, then I have all of these sentiments left that I can have a ton of fun with. There's a bunch in here. We've had a lot of fun with so many of them, right? Now, this is all the scrap I have left. Of all the cards that we have done, this is all the pieces of scrap that, I, I, you know, which I should probably even save that one. But um, this is it. So that's not too bad, right? And... Let's look at everything. I have two butterflies left. 
okay now let me say this okay in the in the last video i showed you guys this one had a little chop on the wing right there if that happens to you i'm sure that it just went through the machine and got chopped off but if you get something like that just holler at them they have wonderful customer service and they will be more than happy to uh, replace an item that's not correct so like i said i get samples so um, that's just you know that's okay but I plan on putting a flower there I'm still going to use it so I have the die cuts the floral friendship die cuts we've used the floral friendship sentiments I love that everything is floral friendship the gemstones we use the beautiful chipboard I have some more of those left and look at this pattern paper now I'm telling you we have gone through a lot of pattern paper in here but I still have some beautiful golds look at that left to make absolutely a ton more cards with all of my um, die cuts and everything very very affordable collection i'll say that for everything that you're going to get out of it you just need white envelopes and white card base most of the time right um so let's go ahead and look at the cards that we have created again two of each so i hope that these look nice for everyone so here's that one two of this one isn't that pretty? Look at how pink and the blue, you know, but we still used, um, I use like a dove over here it, that is just beautiful in that kind of sandy brown color. So pretty. So there's that one. Then we did this one. This was fun where we use those um, elements right there. And uh, with all of that beautiful shimmer, isn't that fun? So cute right there. And, oh, I love this one. I love our trellis card. Our trellis card came out so beautiful. And remember, every one of them is finished on the inside, too. And then this, I used some gold paper and our butterflies in the middle and just layering all of the die cuts. And then here is this, just for you. These videos are made just for you. Thank you so much for supporting me. All the links are below in all of my videos to order any of this newly released product from this week. I hope you enjoyed this one and then also the, um, the hummingbirds, BB's hummingbirds. So check out all my videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And remember, you want to go over and follow my Facebook page because that's where I post um, all of the advertisements for Spellbinders or Scrapbook.com and what specials that they are having so that if you are going to order, you might want to go over there and check it out because there could be a code like... Um, today that I'm filming, okay, not not the day that you're watching this, but the day that I'm filming, I posted one this morning that was a 5% off <clears throat> if you just used a certain code. And um, so you got 5% off of your total uh, purchase so for the day. So that was I thought that was pretty good. But I always post those things over on my Facebook page. Again, I appreciate every one of you. Look for more and exciting projects from Spellbinders. I have something coming next week that's brand new, and it is from Simon Hurley. I'm excited for that. So, But of course, by the time you get this, I will have already... Um, designed with it but I believe that could be a May release so I am about a month ahead of you guys and um, I have to get used to all of this and I'm really excited about it and thank you for following me I'll see you next time